Hello. A couple of guitars. Guitars. Here. Yeah. This one here is signed by the Rolling Stones. This one here is signed by 16 country legends. You can see Winona Judd, Willie Nelson, Garth Brooks, Kenny Rogers, Shania Twain. Okay. The list goes on. All right. It's just really, really cool. And it just sounds like every big person in country music. And the Rolling Stones are amazing. I mean, 60 years, they're still going strong. If these are all actual Rolling Stones signatures on the body of a guitar, that's a big deal. That's a real big deal. He does never see it. Where did you get these? I actually got them through a charity auction okay. for a children's profit that I went to. So how much you want for these? I would like 5,500 for the Rolling Stone one and 10,000 for the country music legends. Okay, so, so you know, it's always a big red flag for me for anyone who buys anything at a charity auction. I have a whole parking lot full of experts here. The one guy I do not have, my autograph guy. So. I'll take some pictures, and then we can go video chat with him right upstairs. Great. He'll tell us about him. OK? OK. There he is. How's it going? What's up, Rick? I sent you the pictures. Yes. We got all these country music autographs and the Rolling Stones. What do you think? You know, taking a look at these two things, obviously, Rolling Stones is high value, no doubt about it. You know, having them on the base of a body, that's something you really don't see every day. Most of the time, people that get them get maybe two or three guys on the body and maybe get Keith or Mick on a pit guard and then put it on a guitar, so to make it a complete guitar. But quite honestly, I can't even remember the last time I actually saw a whole Stones guitar signed. So they're ultra rare. Well, with an actual guitar signed on the body of the guitar, not the pit guard, all the Rolling Stones would go for if it was all legit. That's a great question. I put the value close to twelve to 15000 OK, yeah, so I get the Rolling Stones. But we, when you have this one right here with the country guitar, it's not as much as all the separate autographs combined, correct? Right. If you had Garth Brooks on an acoustic guitar, you're probably looking at a two or $3,000 guitar right now. And uh, you know Brad Paisley or Faith Hill, you know Tim McGraw signed on a nice guitar will go for a lot of money. Um, you know combined, it's still a nice piece to have, but I don't really think it has the value that some of the singles would have. Okay, so if all, all these are legit, what's this guitar worth? I'd put the value of that if it was authentic and you know everything checked out right at about ten thousand dollars. All right, so now that you looked at all the signatures and everything, what do you think? Both guitars exhibit one thing I see right off the bat. To me, it looks like wherever these came from, the same person had signed these. Mick Jagger, you know, Charlie Watts, Keith Richards, they never touched this guitar. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. And that looks like exact same signer. Unfortunately, these guitars, they definitely don't pass. OK. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Have a good one. All right. Well, that's a little disappointing. I'm sorry. I wish they were real, because I would make money, and you would make money, and everyone would be happy. But you think of some money in a charity? Yeah, but it hurts a little. But at least I didn't have to fly these to Las Vegas. I would have been even more disappointed. <laughs> OK, I understand. Let me help you carry them out. All right, thank you.